Where the heck did I put my magazine? Oh my goodness. I'll find it. Here we go, boys. On the table, the Glock 48, nothing fancy special. That is gun coat in bomber green. That's right, bomber green. What a great color that is. It's like a combination between dark, dark olive drab, khaki, and FDE. Kind of a greenish mud color. Greenish mud color. So when I did my ISSA episode on the G19, this makes an appearance. Uh, I don't know what order I will post these videos, but I talked about the sights, the stock sights on the Glock 48, and I was like, mm, I'm having a hard time hitting with these things at 50 yards, and I was. So I have since rectified it. These are, where do they go? I have the box to these somewhere. I think Ameriglos. I could be wrong though. And they were a bitch to install because I don't have a sight pusher that fits a Glock 48 or Glock 43 slide. Mine are for the full size slide and that, that made me sad. And it took me some milling to mount this rear sight and I did it. Uh, marred it up a little bit, which I don't care about. There's a front sight. There's a new picture. Very excellent. More air, which helps long distance shooting. We have two tritium dots. I put a three and a half pound connector in it. And of course, I have the shield magazine conversion. So that's a steel mag release. There you go. So we are talking about a knife, but here I am talking about a gun. I do out of genre reviews all the time. You guys seem to like it. I hope you like it. And on we go talking about the brand Dagger once again. I will start off with a round of applause for Dagger. I love them because they helped me come out with this special edition, which some of you, the very lucky ones, scored. It is the TMP Dagger Sting, which I have EDC'd now for quite some time. Not this one. It's usually a yellow one I carry, and it's pretty beat up. But they helped me come out with this special edition. Thank you very much, Dagger Knives. Uh, we didn't do a lot of them. I mean, I think those Dagger Knives have gone way, 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 way up in value. Schmuckatelli, are you out there? Can you tell me? He usually sends me valuations occasionally. Here's the green Dagger Knives. Made in Russia, I think. I don't know what's going on. I, I really don't. Maybe it's made somewhere else. So you're going to see some of this same design language in this next Dagger Knife review of mine very very excited about this blade it is recommended buy it very quickly while you can now i know some of you guys go oh you're joshing i'm like no i'm not i'm not joshing you buy it basically when you see it uh, i'm really surprised that blade hq which my links will take you to pro second amendment blade hq has this knife i thought dagger knives would be cut off with all the embargoes against russia i don't again i don't know what's going on i could have made some phone calls and found out but i don't really care i, I mean i care i don't mean to sound like i'm ambivalent i care but i got other things to do besides uh, spend all day on the phone with one knife review here we go with my krv on the vendetta buy with confidence it is out freaking standing out freaking standing this will be the third or fourth dagger knife review i've done and what was the other one i did like the parrot or something i forgot it was a loaner knife from one from one of my awesome tmp donors thank you very much for the loaner anyways look that up just type in youtube nothing fancy dagger two g's two r's and you'll see that review come up i'm usually posting the krvs on the b channel so make sure you subscribe on the b channel hit the notification bell please then consider about consider being a donor, and I only ask you stay there for the rest of your life. That's not too much to ask. I know it seems like a tall order. You can do it, especially if you do like two bucks a creation. That's easy, and I charge six per month these days, and that's it. All the other videos are uncharged. I post way more than six videos per month in the donation environment. Enough said. On to the Vendetta. This is a big knife. And I do love big knives. I always have, especially in a tactical philosophy of use. Yes, this is basically a fighting knife that you can put in your pocket. Up here we have the Police G10 from 2010. So Whippersnapper sent me his Police Lightweight. I'll put a link to that below. It's amazing. It's much less expensive than this, much lighter, and it shares this big old blade. This is a great knife. The, the Police model was intended as the name implies as a backup weapon to officers 
officers. And it has a spidey hole so you can put the zip tie in it, quick deploy it. This has been in basic storage the entire time of TMP. I did run it here and there. I need to put it in my pocket and put more wear on it. I'm not trying to preserve it. It's not like a collectible knife, but uh, I'm putting on here for size comparison. You can see the police is a big knife and the Vendetta is even bigger. Oh, that excites me so much. I just love it. The blade length is five inches on the damn Vendetta. Oh my gosh. Overall length is almost 11 inches. So again, a round of applause for Dagger because the only other blade manufacturer that does knives of this size is, you guessed it, Cold Steel. And I could waste time fishing out some Cold Steel knives behind the bins behind me, but you, you've seen them before. But here we have Dagger Knives doing it. That's the first thing that excites me about this knife. So it's a big knife. Let me get into this before we show the details. They have some really cool steels. This was in VG10. Not my favorite steel in the world, but it's affordable. Very rust resistant. They also have D2 versions, M390 versions. And the M390 version is gonna cost you a lot more. It also has a different handle set on it. But M390, as you know, is a, an outstanding steel. BHQ charts show it as edge retention, seven of 10, toughness, four of 10. Corrosion resistance, nine out of 10, ease of sharpening, five. That's M390. I just rushed through that stuff just to remind you how awesome the steel is. You're gonna pay for it. It's a lot more, like three times the price of this version, but it is out there. They also have some very interesting handle treatments on the Vendetta. So this is a Sting right here. We have G10 and that beautiful lime green, which I absolutely love. I adore it, it's so cool. The yellow was very cool too. We only did, what, 500 of these knives, by the way. My number is a very low serial number, incidentally, 491. Holy crap, that is a high serial number, nothing fancy. I would think you would have more pull. Uh, yeah, I would too, <laughs> but it is what it is. I still love it. But the interesting thing about Dagger is they really have a grasp on style and function. So they have a perfect balance in most of the knives I've seen. There's a new one called, I think the Arrow. I don't know if it's new, it's new to me. And it's the same way. It's more of a spear point knife, EDC knife, kind of a mini fighter. I'll try to put some images of that, the, the Arrow. But stylistically it's hitting and functionally it's hitting as well. The only thing I can say about the dot, the, the, if I can speak, the designer language of Dagger Knights is they all have very delicate tips. You have to be careful of that because you can snap these tips off. The Vendetta is no different, dudes. So be careful. Don't drop it on the pavement. Uh, don't abuse the tip, just like I tell my wife. <gasps> oh, did he just say that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did. I did, mostly family friendly, but we do stray once in a while. Be careful with the tip. And I'm not joshing you when I say that I've EDC'd the Sting a lot. I've had no tip problems whatsoever. It's been great, but I know how to take care of the blade. Okay, if you, if you can get past that, you'll love it. So it's gonna have great penetration capability and EDC tasks, especially the Sting, the Arrow. This is again a fighting knife. Uh, I don't even know if I should put say this. I think I will, to be honest, in the review. This knife right here would go through armor. Like I'm talking like soft body armor, no problem. I don't recommend that at all. I'm just telling you that it is a penetrating blade that has a lot of capability to it. I mean, just look at it. Out of box, just like your Sting, it's freaking sharp as ever. Again, this is a VG10 version. Look at the blade finishing, how beautiful it is. Very interesting grind on it. Again, this part is unsharpened. We have a flat here for your Edge Pro Apex. I haven't tried it. I think it would be a challenge to resharpen this. I ain't gonna lie. I do have my zip tie on there. And now, as I recommend you do, put some high quality electrical tape wrapped tightly and that way it won't spin around. Is it the best looking thing? No, but I like functionality and I like a, a knife usually that can wave out of pocket and the stings. The arrows, the vendettas, the parrots can do that from dagger. Really big blade though. Look at that monster. Awesome. Excellent edge, excellent grinding. They do a really good job with this. Let's look at the lockup of the vendetta. Perfection. 
And then in that pivot point, we have ball bearings on the Vendetta, which is outstanding. Outstanding. There's a timing on the liner lock. Captured liner lock. Really excellent. Kind of early, but I like that because it will wear in. And again, the lockup is tight. Very tight. Let's look at the stop pin right here. There's your flipper tab right there, and it is perfect. No sharp edges. We have some jimping on it. Easily accessible. Fast. Really fast. Centering. Little bit to this side right here. See that? Little bit to the left on this particular Vendetta, which obviously I bought because I've engraved it. I bought this from Blade HQ for the review. Uh, it's still not rubbing. I'm happy. Liners milled out properly. The variations that have either micarta scales on it, which this does, which I absolutely love. I love micarta. Or the G10 scales will be about 5.8 ounces. They have a variation called the Stormtrooper, which is super sick. One side is, I believe, stainless steel. That It's about 6.7 ounces. The Stormtrooper, really cool knife, by the way. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of our tuxedo spider codes we did in the day where we did the black handle and then we did the black blade. Those were super popular, super collectible, very rare. Nice, really nice. Then we have the Screaming Skull clip, which we love. And then the pivots, not the pivot screws, but the screws of the clip are kind of the eyeballs. In the Sting, it stands out more because they use anodized screws, clip screws there. So very cool. That's super fun. I've already talked about the theme of the skull and this knife, I actually love it. I embrace it. There's your lanyard attachment on the Vendetta. Plenty of room for non hollowed out 550 cord. Notice the chamfering going on here, how it's radiused. Tension to detail right there. The stainless steel lanyard portion, totally radiused. Open in this back space right here on the Vendetta. The clip is reversible. Left to right, carrying tip up as God intended. Well done, dagger. And again, this is the micarta version. I forget which color this is though. Let's see, uh, olive, they're calling it olive. So there's the SKU number on this particular model. And it may be sold out. They, all these knives sell very quickly. I, I don't know what to do, dudes. I'm posting videos as fast as the audience watches them. And I have a diverse content flow. It is what it is. Get it when you see it, I'm not joshing you. Single-sided adjustment pivot point. Kind of a downside, I guess. So if you wanted to tweak that and if that bothered you, the centering issue here, and you wanna do that, you could play around with it. It's easier to do a double uh, adjustable pivot point in my experience. Let's check out retention. I have to do this off camera because I'll break something. Uh, retention is moderate. I want, I want to tell you honestly, it's moderate. It's a big blade. It's a heavy blade. It comes out quickly when I shake it out. Uh, it could probably be improved. There you go. It could be improved. Maybe make a stronger detent in the Vendetta. Not much more. Not much more. Just a little bit more and then it would be perfect because you don't want to have to like uh, use a lot of force on the flipper tab to get the knife out. Uh, really cool variations of this knife exist and it's all I can do to resist buying one of them. The one I'm looking at is a titanium handle I believe and they it has like electro uh, webbing on it or some type of weird treatment. It just looks so cool. I don't know if they call it Damascus or what. I think that's the M390 version but it's expensive. It's like 330 bucks. Let's put that in perspective though. If we go with a collectible Benchmade, here's my, what is this, 2003 Mel Pardieu Auto Axis. Uh, I wonder if it has a date on it. This thing's worth about, I didn't spend that on it. I didn't spend like 300. I think I bought this for like 200, well before TMP, and I think it's worth about five right now in this coloration. This is number 22 out of 50. Back when I had some pull. <laughs> But you get a Microtech that has a special handle treatment and super high quality steel, you're looking at 700 bucks. I'm putting that in perspective for the special editions of the Dagger Knives Vendetta. 
Uh, those, I think, especially after this video, are probably going to sell pretty quick because they're going to be very collectible. Guys are going to love it. They're just going to put it in a collection. Philosophy of use, as I quickly mentioned, this is a tactical blade. It's meant for fighting, self-defense, but most guys will never use it at that, thank heavens. What they will do is they'll just put it in their collection and just use it to fondle, have fun with, and go crush some rebel scum. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. Anywho, that by the way, that Stormtrooper version is black stonewash on the stainless steel handle. So... I don't have that on tabletop, but it's going to be a much heavier knife. I think it's cool. I do rather prefer the G10 or my Carter versions over that, but if I go to an upgraded version like a D2 or M390 Vendetta with special handle treatments, uh, I, I might prefer those even more. Uh, competitive options. I'm not going to do any. We've talked long enough. Uh, I did talk about the Police G10, which is amazing. Also, the Colt Steel fighting knives are amazing. I've talked about those many, many times. Nothing Fancy Project Knife Show in very good health, thanks to the donors. Consider being one, again, just, just for the rest of your life. That's not too much to ask.